Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. It's been ages since I played this game and honestly for a second I didn't even remember where I last left off until I remembered that we are at the Dancer, which well, nothing could have soured my mood quicker because as you can probably determine, determined, as you can probably determine, apparently one of the things that the Dancer does is causing me to forget English, but I'm not the biggest fan of this boss, um, as I found out with this weapon especially. Thought, it, thought the bitch was gonna grab. So yeah, honestly, I got home kind of late today and all that, and this episode is gonna go up late as well. Although maybe it's not gonna be a problem this time around because Smash Ultimate is coming out. The range on that is insane. And I'm planning some midnight stuff around Smash Ultimate. So, you know, if you stick around for a little bit more, you're gonna see some Smash Ultimate featuring your boy Sonic the Hedgehog. Because He's for sure gonna be my main Because Sonic is awesome He's the character I played in Brawl as well Which was the last Smash that I played I have no idea what she's doing Oh, okay Holy shit, that has that much range on it Vocals are going crazy as they tend to do with this boss. Shit, she has a... Oh, this boss. I swear. There's not many opportunities to attack her. Eat shit, dancer. Oh, she's gonna... She'll be non-compliant with that. I have a feeling. Yeah, I get stunned. Surprisingly doing okay. Which is the time I get stun locked into oblivion. See I'm I'm too scared not to heal after every after getting hit every single time. I swear she never ends. Her attacks. This boss is confusing. So all this shit looks the same. Unlike people who normally their shit looks different every single time. If you have a healthy diet, of course. I'm only kidding. Yeah, fuck you, dancer. You can still do this. If there's anything about this boss, she doesn't have the most HP. In fact, I think she's dead. Alright. Well, I clutched that out. Uh, I didn't expect that. I thought I was like, fuck, this is gonna be spent. Like, this episode is gonna be spent on this hoe, but... Turns out not the case. Very good. Alright. Give me my souls. And... Give me my Firelink Shrine. So, essentially... Yeah, again, like... You can kind of just like endurance her, it's just this is probably not the best weapon to fight her with because a lot of the times I hit her and she still caught me with her next attack, so whatever. I did it, that's all that matters. So yeah, Smash Ultimate, I'm gonna be checking out probably some stuff uh, around midnight because, well, you know, I've been preparing to prepare for Smash ideally. Home, you gotta not shower for a week. That's how you get into the true mindset of a smash player I'm gonna increase the vite see this is the thing like part of me wants to but you know what I am never in a million years gonna use the fucking curse word great shield I can already tell because I tried it and it kinda sucks ass so I will most likely use some sort of lighter shield I don't know 
I kind of like crest. Yeah. So what we probably need to do is get some different, you know, start mixing and matching, which is sometimes difficult in this game. Because hello shit looks the same. As long as it's got a cape on it, I'm cool with it. And we're not going to put on the Fallen Knight trousers because that's the one people pissed in. So, you know, stay away from that. Nice. Okay. I like this getup. Not sure it matches with the giant frost axe or mace or whatever this thing is. But whatever. We could do worse, right? I need two more. And I'm kind of been racking my brain trying to figure out where I can get one. A real legit tight knight scale, right? That's what they're called in this game, tight knight scales? I think so. As you can see, I am very up to date on my Dark Souls 3 knowledge. Alright. So I get the, let's get the fuck out of here. And they could check back, <coughs> damn, into the demon ruins. I mean, really, if I can find the demon ruins. Oh shit, what is it called? Catacombs of Carthus. Old demon king, demon ruins, that's the one. I thought it was its own kind of separate area at the top there, but I guess it's not. But there are no Titanite scales here, are there? I don't think there are. So whatever. We'll just go through here, collect some souls, because why not? I'm not in the mood for Lothric Castle, basically is what I'm saying today. So we're going here. To be fair, this frost maze should tear these bitches up. Because... You know, just... Makes sense, doesn't it? Also, I think I'm kind of OP for this area. Maybe not. That's what I was expecting. In terms of... Like, amount of damage dealt. You can come here a lot earlier, though. But then this area is actually kind of challenging. Oh, that's a dead Capra demon. That's the kind of gimmick of this area. This a this area is full of dead demons. Which is kind of cool. Theme-wise, what did he just throw at me? Alright, let's not... Let's not eat the poison damage. You're gonna eat my mace. Wait, no. Scratch, scratch that. Oh, is it, this is motherfucking toxic. Oh. I definitely don't want this thing eating my mace. At all. Alright. As I was saying. Yeah, I think I'm for sure OP. Are these poisons as well? Luckily, I ain't been using much of these. So, you know, never too late to start. And yes, I have completely forgotten the layout of this place. It's kind of maze-y. For some reason, there's way more bonfires than actually needed, I feel like. Oh yeah, this is how OP I am. What is this? This is a... I don't know which demon this is. It doesn't matter, probably. Oh, hello. See, this is convenient. The <laughs> grab animation from the blob gave me inv invincibility for the fire. God, that fire looks so much better than it does in Dark Souls. Even remastered. It kind of looks hella good. Wonderful. That was a great move by me. 
Fuck. You. I'm nearly dead. Let's not die to this area. I know I'm being kind of careless, but maybe I'm not as OP as I think I am. Need a backstab. God damn it. As soon as I say it, you know it's gonna whiff. Alright. If I wasn't lost before, I am sure as hell 100% lost now. Um, this way. Oh, they have these dog versions. These are even more of a pain in the ass. If you're not as strong as me. Fuck off statue. I think that's a Taurus demon. So yeah, you know, the idea is that the demons are all dead because of... I don't know, Dark Souls shit, like the flame going out, you know, the usual, the usual. And they're all dying. I think... Yeah. This is not... Hold on. I am so fucking lost. That threw me off because I had some basic idea of where to go. But now... It ain't even like that. I do know where that leads. You don't want to fall down there. I do remember that. But there's also a bonfire somewhere. I know. Professional Dark Souls 3 player. Demonstrating my expertise. But that leads back to the first floor. Or the upper level or whatever you call it. God, that does so much damage. They make weird noises to these things. To be fair, I do have the... Eat shit. Eat shit, I said. I do have the... Oh, you can destroy those? I didn't know that. This is not the one that protects against fire. Bam. 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 Frostbite and death. Frostbite into death combo is my favorite. Oh, shh. Okay, it's not gonna... It does seem to work. Mashing. I'm never sure if it does or not, but it always does seem to work. Probably do. It probably do. And this one leads back to the first floor, right? Yes. You can tell by the trail of corpses. But I think actually if you go back here... ...and destroy the statue... I don't know. Just because I seem to remember there being another bonfire. Fuck, man. I uh, I know this game inside out, don't I? To be fair, all jokes aside, this area is kind of a mess. A good kind of mess. I actually see, told you. I knew there was a bonfire. A bonfire. We're gonna hit right now. I cannot wait for Smash Ultimate. That's pretty much the only thing on my mind right now. Only thing is, I won't have... Because I didn't pick up a Pro Controller today. Because, again, I didn't want to spend the extra time after work. But I am off work tomorrow, so I'm gonna... Probably make a couple of episodes just using standard controller and all that. And then standard switch controller. I mean, and then go get the Pro one, because to be fair, the one thing that I can say is a 
crit. Not, not really a criticism, but you know. Switch doesn't have the best default controller. I mean, the ones you stick on the side, and nothing against it. I mean, sure, design-wise, essentially there was no other choice, but it's okay 90% of times. 95% of times, actually, but you know, for Smash, quote-unquote high-octane fighting, it's probably not the best. Is there even anything in here? That's why I'm trying to figure out, because... My gut is telling me no. There ain't shit here. That might very, very well be the case. Aside from a lot of enemies, fuck. I don't mean to jump. Oh, it's the pyromancy tone. Yeah, useless. For this character, at least. Um... What was I saying? So yeah, I'll pick up the Pro Controller eventually, and then just hit up more. Uh, what you call it? Smash. I'm I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow as much as I can. I mean, I'm gonna be away in the evening because we got a Christmas party at work. But throughout the day, sorry, I moved my mic there. That was the awful noise you just heard. Throughout the day, the day I'm gonna be trying to get some smash streams in if I can the game is looking hella good though I, I've seen it's been getting good reviews which is you know not that reviews are all that you can base yourself off of for example I'm still holding out the fact that Darksiders 3 is very good um, even though all the reviews have been tearing it to pieces. I think it's because, because sometimes people judge maybe this is better for a separate topic but I feel like the type of game that Darksiders 3 is again something that you would call a quote unquote double A experience not a triple A gets judge very harshly because oh you can backstab these things because you know like an indie game it's okay to have you know lesser graphics more of a stylized look and all that because it's an indie game triple a you know you expect the big visuals and all that and this kind of double a category is you know the weird in between like people expect graphics because uh dark side is one and to, in their generation, or in their time, looked good. Not like top tier, but good. And then, uh, fucking Darksiders 3 just looks left behind, you know. But still, the game is really fun. Uh, the combat mechanics are good and all that, so... I don't know, I'm enjoying it. What a rat. Eat shit. Oh, that, if, that would have been an insta-kill. Would have been so much better. This is a mimic. I know that this is a mimic. This is not a mimic. Never mind. My expertise strikes again. Three large shards. Obviously, they... What type of... Oh, shit. Upgrade material you, you get really kind of... Makes its mark on the area. So you can always kind of guess when you're really supposed to be here. And it's not now, let me tell you that. Why am I even doing this place? There, The boss is dead. There isn't anything here. Oh yeah, because I didn't feel like doing Lothric. I don't feel like getting petrified either. So, you know, that, let's try to avoid that. There's more of these things here than I remembered. I thought there's only like three or four, but... Why is it that whenever I fight these things, it's always such a scramble? It was like this the previous time as well, back in... Irithyll Dungeon. I was running around like an idiot, swinging... Man, that goes up quickly. Oh, we have Asshole Knight Sorik to deal with as well. 
This dude is such a dick. Let me tell you that. He gives you the, the big fucking dragon sword. But this dude is straight up cheating. Let me tell you that. This weapon sucks too. What he has. The dragon bone smasher I think it's called. No it's not. What is it called in this game? I'm telling you this dude's straight up cheating. Yeah, you don't want to miss with that. So yeah, he uses it because he has fucking infinite, probably infinite, uh, SP meter. Let me tell you, Fume Ultra. Let me tell you, this weapon is the biggest piece of shit in the entire game. It is the most linear move set. Yeah. I, tr I know because I tried it and I quickly threw it out the fucking window. Let me tell you that. Maybe I'm not going to judge too much because there have been a lot of patches. Maybe it's better now, but back then this thing was god awful. I was like, I couldn't believe I spent this many stats and invested this much into a weapon like this. But you know, sometimes you just, sometimes you fuck up. Nothing you can do but... Yeah, just parry your s or swing yourself off the edge. Alright. I wasn't even paying attention. We're only 22 minutes in. This area is not that lengthy, actually. Shit, I don't want to... Well, actually, we could go to Lothric. What's it gonna matter, really? Snake Eater Ladder, for sure. It's funny, whenever I... Like, you know, some games and some scenes you just stick with you. Uh, and that ladder scene is one of them. Whenever I see a lengthy ladder, that song starts playing in my head. Plus, it's a, it's a good song as well. Alright. We're about to get blasted, aren't we? by a catapult. You can go in the trenches here. I'm gonna turn this shit off so quickly. Not talking about the game, talking about the ballista. Really, really trying to think where I can get more Titanite skills, but there's like Nothing until... Look at that timing. Get on my level. These bone wheels, they do not stand a chance. The standard skellies either. These are not even the respawning. These are bitchy skeletons. Please tell me this thing doesn't like... Swing all the way back down to target you. Are these ninja motherfuckers? Luckily with a heavy weapon like that you can break them. Snipe from the air. Take that. Sharp gems. Wow, they dropped sharp gems. This accent, I'm, I'm using the shitty control. Oh, yeah, because I switched the good controller for Neo. Neo, Neo. Get around. I promise one day I will finish Neo. I'll get around to it. Don't worry. I turned this bitch off. There isn't actually that much left from the game. I looked at it. Um. Of course, there's a boss rush style gauntlet in one of the levels, and then kind of the holy shit, yeah, it's kind of late. Um, let's not 
I mean, as you can drop down. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, th then the true final final boss. And then the DLCs. The DLCs are going to be... I don't know if I'll do the DLCs. Or if I'll restart the game with more experience. On my own, I mean. And then eventually get around to the DLCs. I don't know, man. Whereas there's a giant enemy crab there. Honestly, there ain't even that many items here that I need. We'll get Horus, because why not? Put him out of his misery. This is the entrance, though. Alright, fine, you got me, game. We'll pick your shit up. Just large shards. I mean... There's a very high possibility that for some of the DLC we'll need a secondary weapon. So, you know, it's not bad that I'm getting all of these. Not complaining. Just I'd rather have Titanite skills. Man, Horus is gonna go down like an absolute pussy at this stage. This weapon... The R1, the running R1 is the best. Oh shit, don't even try teleporting away. It's like the best for taking out these crystal lizards because it has like... See, I'm not even holding the run button at the very end there. Oh yeah, like this is... Sorry, Horus. Cannot tell. I'm going for a parry. Professional PvP right here. As in Torig. Alright, let's not do that. Or let's go for one more parry. Yeah, fuck that. He never had a chance. Sorry. Llewellyn Shield. Dark Souls 2 reference. I was just discussing this in the last stream, when I streamed last week. It's kind of a shame that this game never really did anything with kind of the interesting ideas presented in Dark Souls 2's story, especially Scholar of the First, and this, this game just kind of Threw that all out the window. What can you do? <clears throat> Alright. So I think I'm going to cut this a little bit short because... 1 hour and 15 minutes until smash. It's going to be cool. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Ho See, I didn't forget to use it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 3. And yeah, I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.